Hi everybody. Um, welcome to Covers Corner. This is week two of a full garden tour. Changes to the garden I'll show you as we go and um, talk about some of the things that we ran into this week with weather. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's ran into this. So I think we can all feel the pain. But, okay, here we go. So first of all, you know, I don't know if you notice the difference. We laid down all this mulch in the walkways, which um, is going to help with weed control. Plus it helps, it, it just makes it look a little bit nicer, I think. Um, I just came in the small gate. We actually have access to two gates because we have a shed right here that has all of our garden stuff. And then the bigger gate down to the other end is uh, dual purpose so that we can get the lawnmower in to mow the lawn. And so we can get the bigger... Um, like the wheelbarrow and well the wheelbarrow will fit through this one too but bigger stuff through there so i mean we'll start right here um garlic is still doing really well looks like it's starting to maybe die back a little bit down at the bottom still got a weedy uh container from last year <laughs> my chives that overwintered um that are now in blossom you see those blossoms let me zoom in here so all right, so this um, last week, uh, Friday night and Saturday night, we ended up having some lows that were like 39 was the projected low. So I didn't, um, I didn't get too panicked about covering stuff. Like I have tomatoes out and I have peppers out in that, but you know I've put enough out that I just figured I would just take a shot at it. I'd, I don't have enough stuff to cover everything I have out so um and and we did have a couple casualties which I'll show you later but all in all I think it turned out you know, fairly well for considering that it got down to 37 one night and 39 the next night supposed to be in the 40s and 50s now at night so I think we should be hopefully okay and we'll see what happens with the peppers as the season goes on but here's the hot peppers um take a little bit of a I don't know if that's actually from getting cold or if that was just like an insect we'll have to just keep an eye on it um, I haven't done a lot as far as um, grooming any of these yet these are my banana peppers my hot banana peppers um, my cayenne blend I did not start those two I have started all these other ones um, I don't know if you can see the little tiny those are the cayenne blend. it's a pepper blend um, and these are these two little tiny this one and this one those are my jalapenos i do have more jalapeno starts inside though so if they don't make it i'll just transplant the other stuff out which is no big deal um and this is a pablo um plebano sorry <clears throat> excuse my voice and look at we got a little tree growing we should just we just should start a tree farm we get all those helicopters um now, I don't know if you can see all the little onions down in there. This, this, there's like th um, three rows right here of onions. Um, and then I have more like back over here. Um, and I did replant some of the peas last week because I only had, like on this section, I only had this one little one coming up. But the cold obviously isn't going to hurt them. They're pretty cold hardy. Um, I don't see any of the new starts coming up yet for the ones that I replanted. And these are the, this is the other patch that did just fine um, for the most part. I had a couple that didn't germinate, but um, I've got quite a few of those, and those are doing really good. So, oh, there's the sun. It's playing peekaboo today. I can't decide if it wants to come out or not. See, there's more of the peas. So, those are looking really good. They didn't uh, take too much of a hit from the cold. Um, this is the acorn squash. Finally had a birthday a couple days ago. And spaghetti squash. The spaghetti the, the tips on the leaves of the spaghetti squash, that was like that before the cold. I think that was a little bit sunburnt. And those were direct sewed, so I'm surprised kind of that they that did happen with them, but they look fine. They're they have new growth and stuff, so as you can see, like right here. Um, I haven't got anything in there yet, so I'm trying to figure out what to put in there. Um, 
pumpkin plants are looking a little rough. This is a, one of the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin plants, but um, I'm not sure. It's got blossoms though. It's set in blossom, so I think it's going to be alright. These were the original um, leaves, and I actually um, started them inside. So that could be, like all this is new from since it's been outside, so I think it maybe it was just in the pot too long. Um, I did sow another pumpkin plant there. Um, and we have sunflower. I have three. I put three in each bed. That one didn't come up, but there's two that came up here with the marigolds. So, this area down here, we're still working on the mulch. Um, it will be mulched out to this post all the way down to the wooden fence. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it will, um, it, it's not going to be left like that. It'll be completed. So it'll be finished looking, I should say. Um, this is the experimental potato bags. I haven't seen anything yet from them. And we'll see how it goes. We'll give them time. That's not my main potato crop anyway, so we're okay. Um, my pickled cucumbers took a hit from the frost. I don't know if you can see that poor pathetic little leaf right there. Um, still got plenty of time to replant. I did previously plant, so two um, plants right there because I had three that were actually up and it looks like those are pretty much uh, non-existent anymore and that's okay I still have time I'll go ahead and resell those this week that's my, one of my plans um, and there are um, high pumpkins here this one's looking a little gnarly <laughs> we'll see what they do this has got new growth on it though so this is just in the last day or so um, I'll just go ahead and probably sew another one down here those are for my um, those are the sugar pie pumpkins. And again, I have down at the end of this bed um, sunflowers, and it looks like only one has come up on this bed. Oh, look at, we're growing more trees. Darn trees. Maybe that's where my money, that's, maybe that's where I can make my money, is in those trees. Okay, so moving on. Um, in this bed, I have the onions. Those are doing fine. The cold doesn't usually bother them too much. And um, I do have beans sown in here. Um, before they didn't have any problems coming up through the straw, but I might need to um, to move the straw back where I had planted them and see if that helps. If not, I'll just replant more. It's, beans don't take long at all to take off. It's not a big deal. Um, on this side I have celery that's kind of, yeah, we'll see if it pulls through. <laughs> it kind of looks a little rough, but it kind of looks like it's putting off new green also. So we'll see. And uh, the, here's pole beans. These were bush beans back here. My bush beans are struggling this year, and I don't know for sure why. The seeds aren't that old. I grew them last year. They grew fine, so I'm not sure what the deal is. So there's see some of these pole beans, which beans are really susceptible to the cold, so I'll probably just come through and pull them out. Um, so got a couple here and a couple here, and I'll just replant this one, oddly enough, and that one. I don't know. They're both fine. I'm not sure what the deciding factor is for that, for the survival rate, but... And then on this side, these ones are fine. Um, this one looks like it took a little bit. There was nothing germinated there. Looks like the birds are trying to plant their sunflower seeds. Um, <laughs> and those ones are fine. So I'm not sure um, what might have caused that. Or what, what causes that. Like why is it only certain? Um, we have some guys can see them all the noise coming from those planes over there but I'm not sure what causes why only certain ones would get hit when they're about the same size so um, 
time, so they need to get some weeds done. But it's much easier pulling them out with this mulch. Boink. Just got to come out here. It's a, I think this week, for the most part, it's supposed to be dry. Um, last I saw, anyway. I'm not positive. Um, here's more bush beans. I only have the two that come up. I did sow a few more seeds down through here um, last week. I have to look at my book just to make sure exactly when. Uh, it has been probably about a weekish or so, maybe a little over. And again, here, these are bush beans. So I'm thinking there might be something with my um, sprout with my seeds because these two, I, these two that are up here in this bed, and these two that are up in this bed, I planted. At the same time, I planted all of those, the pole beans, and that's been a, three weeks, a month ago, something like that. So, I'm not sure. But, again, it's beans, and once I plant them again, it doesn't take long, usually. Um, my purple kale. I'm going to come in and harvest some of that. And then some salad, or I like to dehydrate it and make it into powder. Um, and with, along with spinach and that, and then I can put it into a, a, a bit like soups and stuff. Um, here is my pole beans on this side of the trellis that I replanted last. Well, at the same time I planted those bush beans down there, I plant I replanted these, and as you can see, they're they're sprouting pretty well, and they did fine with the cold. So, um, I have more, um, sunflowers in the corner in the middle of this box. And these are the pole beans that I planted first. I had planted the other side at the same time, and for some reason those ones didn't come up like these did, but I'm not sure. So, and these, these will arch up over top of this trellis, so... There's one of my new little lights I got, swaying in the breeze, <laughs> and I have one on each arch down that way. So here's my uh, cabbages, they're looking good. Oops. They don't ever, well, it takes a lot of cold um, to get to the cabbages in that, so I wasn't worried about them. I got purple cabbage, or red cabbage, and this is late season cabbage, the green. And then um, Brussels sprouts. They look really good too. This looks like I might have something chewing on it. I've looked. I don't see anything actually on the leaf. Like I don't see any eggs, no bugs, no nothing. So we're going to, um, this week we got the materials and we're going to do a uh, row cover to help with the insects on the cabbages because last year we did get a lot of cabbage worms um, and stuff so and that, oh there's like some sunflowers peeking up down here we'll see what they do they might not um, well they should grow pretty well it's just the stalk down there so and there's the sunflower in that bed and my crazy mint plant that is a mint and weed mix I gotta figure out which is which come over there um, this is the grape tomato plant I uh, did purchase this one at the store because I didn't have any seeds for grape tomatoes and I just thought that looks would be neat to have and it's got a blossom on it already and that did really well as big as that is it didn't this is what I don't understand is like the difference in height you think that the taller ones would be more affected but um, they weren't and this is my I, I purchased this one too um, oh, this was the candy land oh yeah this was the uh, candy land tomato which sounds interesting <laughs> and look at if you can see right down there let's see if I can move this I got a little baby tomato. I needed I need to prune this, but I don't wanna. I mean, this is the way it came in. I probably should have pruned it. I did prune it some before I put it in. But apparently it's got two main stalks. If you see. 
so I'm just gonna have to let this go that way I think because I don't know which one would be the main stem and I don't want to pull that off and stuff let's grow um a little brandy wine tomato I don't know if you can see it's a stick it did not survive so I'll be replacing that with something no big deal um well, that one's looking a little gnarly but we'll see what it does and this one oh look the straw is bigger than that wind blew the straw up around them and this one's looking really good actually these are brand, all brandy wine and these are all started from seed i've only bought a few um plants i did re-mulch my potato bins this weekend this these were remulched and completely covered completely covered saturday and these are already starting to grow up out of the mulch again this is probably that's probably the last time that i'll mulch them depending on um how packed down the straw gets around them so we'll see um go back down this way some broccoli it's actually starting to head up in there i don't know if you can see way down in there let's see if i can get out of the uh, it's hard to see I can, I can see it but it's hard to see it getting little tiny buds so and then i have cauliflower and they're all doing good they do fine with the with the uh, cold and this is i believe it was oregano from last year Look at that, how huge that plant is. Um, and this one was basil on this side, but I'm just going to pull this out and just give that whole container to the oregano. Okay. I'll weed it later. <laughs> and these won't be, these will be moved um, up front there. That we were working on this yesterday, so they just got left there. Um, onion bed that I planted a couple weeks ago. About two, two weeks ago now. Um, my Thai basil made it through the cold. I was kind of half expecting to not see that happen. But this poor little sweet basil did not survive. It's okay. Nothing is planted other than this Thai basil and this on this side, so I'll just be putting something else in there. No big deal. Um, here comes the poor little pepper plants. Um, that basil is looking pretty rough. If it makes it, I'll be surprised. I'm going to let it go and see what it does. This is one of my... Um, Sweet pepper blends, I think, is what it was. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's looking a little bit rough, but then it's got some green, so we'll see. This one's a little bit rough. Well, I think most of them are going to be a little bit rough right now. It was pretty cold in the peppers. This one's actually got some buds going on it, so we'll see. Maybe it'll be alright. This one's got some buds on it also. These are, um, sweet banana peppers and those are both the um, mixed um, sweet pepper bell peppers this little plant looks it's gonna be a goner but we'll see. won't give up hope on them this one is um got a little blood on the top of it too and that's my marconi i did buy those because i've never i didn't have seeds for them i've never tried them so i wanted to try them um, these are more mixed peppers. These are, this is when I started that one. I was probably going to say no to that one. We'll just wait and see what happens. I'll just plant some flowers or something back there. And this is a gypsy blend sweet pepper. Looks really good. So there's that one. Got a little bug eating on it, but we'll get that figured out. Um, there's nothing planted right in this space yet. Um, and 
the sweet basil down here looks pretty good. Still. So I'm going to go back down here to the tomatoes on this row. And this tomato vanished. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the cold got to it because it was one of my starts. And you see how puny this one is too. I mean, I don't even know if you can see it on there. Poor little puny. He probably won't make it. This one, uh, they were, they were getting there. They weren't huge, but they weren't that tiny either. So this bed probably has, out of the six, probably only two that I see that are going to potentially survive and, I, and that one looks like it's getting beaten on by something so I'll have to figure out what so these ones look pretty pretty decent they weren't taller than this when I put them in but I planted them pretty deep also so that's one of the reasons that they look so little these are all Amish paste Kind of making it a little bit hard to see right now. I love the sun, so I'm not going to complain too much. These ones are doing pretty well. They're not ginormous. They've only been out a week, a little over a week. And then to get hit with a couple nights of cold, um, I think that they're doing fine. We do have some casualties coming up here. Avert your eyes. This poor little one. Let's see. Half is kind of eh, and the other half is black. So this one is all black. <laughs> and then green. Right next to it. Completely green. Not a not a mar on it. I don't know. I did lose. Um, two more here. This one's looking pretty out of it. <laughs> we'll see. And that one looks pretty decent. So, all in all, I mean, that's not too bad for that room. Um, I planted 41 Amish paste tomatoes to begin with. So... Sunflower. And sunflower there in that box. And then this is, I think, the only box that had all three of the sunflowers come up at the end. And a tree. Do you see what I'm talking about? These trees. These trees are crazy. A couple trees. We get so many helicopters off the tree, off of big trees. So I'm telling you, we could start a tree farm. Okay, so this row of tomatoes actually looks pretty good. Again, they look smaller than they really were when I planted them because I planted them uh, fairly deep. So, um, they have a good root system. So these ones fared really well actually. I think I have this one got a little damage, which I don't know if it'll come back. We'll see. And I lost three. These three on the end, which they weren't very big to begin with. And that's okay. I can plant something else in there. I'm not worried about it. Um, this tomato, I gotta, I'll probably just end up using one of the cages from the ones that didn't make it over here. Because I had ran out of cages on that one. This one here, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to give up on him yet. He's got some green on him still. And then, this is actually one I purchased, the purple Cherokee. I mean, Cherokee purple, sorry. And it's got a little bit of green on it. It was actually wide open the other day. So, we'll be seeing some fruit off of that soon. Um, I need to come out and prune them up too. 
We've got one little sunflower coming up in the corner of this bed. And a tree. Anybody want trees? I'll sell them to you. Um, yeah, we'll go that side. This is the experimental polyculture bed. I think that things are just kind of too close together in here, even though that's the way that they were saying to do it. Um, I think if I do, if I do this again, I'll probably just like come out, sow one seed, wait till it starts germinating, and then come out and sow the next seed so that I can see where they're actually going. I'm going to pull this little radish out though because it's starting to split. So It was just kind of a fun little experiment to try. I mean it's got some, like that's a turnip that's getting kind of, I don't know if you can see it down there with the weed. There's onions in here. See the onions. There's grass. <laughs> There's some spinach. Um, and have radishes and turnips. Lettuce. There's some lettuce right there. Lettuce, spinach, and the onions. So that's what's in this bed. So we'll see. I mean, the girls love coming out and seeing what's growing in it and how it's doing. So um, here's the 45D cabbages. This one's got a really decent head on it. So, and then I had some. Look at this. Look at. Can you? Do you guys see? This is like my my uh, nemesis. These little trees in here. Crazy. Like. I think we might be in the wrong business. We just need to be growing trees. They just drive me crazy. Because see, they come from these. Here's the culprit. The little helicopters. And they... They sprout so fast. I'm like, why can't the edible um, plant sprout that fast? Anyway, we'll walk back up here. Um, this is at the end of the potato bed. This is my corn bed. Um, I just went ahead and reworked the soil this weekend because I had two stalks of corn up out of both of these. It's this full bed and half of that bed. And I had two stalks of corn. So I don't know if it's the location of it or if it was something with the seed or what was happening. The soil, this soil in this bed is the same soil that we had last year and we had um, our corn in that bed right there where all the tomato cages are and we grew so much corn in that little bed it was crazy same soil everything so I don't know if it doesn't I mean it's in the sunlight until probably about 2 33 o'clock in the afternoon so it's a good amount of sunlight um so i'm not sure exactly what the deal is um i don't know if we're going to replant corn here or if brett had talked about building another bed out there to put the corn in so we'll have to see um we got time so um so as of right now there's nothing in those beds still nothing with this watermelon so I'm thinking that those seeds may not be, might not have germinated. So we'll probably replant that this week too, because that's been mm, that's probably been close to a month since I planted those. So we'll have to see. Look at more trees. Yes, I'm obsessed with these little trees. Not in a good way. And this is um, zucchini. And it's got some blossoms. It's, and I'm going to thin these out, I think. And I'll be pruning these. And I'm going to trellis. I'm going to try it. 
I shared the um, link to that in my on our Facebook group, Covers Corner Suburban Homestead on Facebook, um, to how to trellis your zucchini and the yellow squash, so you can actually get more into a space, and it helps them. It helps. It helps slow down. I don't know if it prevents um, the squash beetles and stuff like that. So. Um, so that's what we're gonna I'm gonna do I might plant another zucchini on the other side of there and another summer squash here I'm not sure I don't know if I want them that close together since they're two different uh, two different vegetables so and there's this one's gonna get blossoms here soon so that little one so she have some fruit coming on not too long probably so, um, I'm going to take you down here real quick. I think we covered everything. Oh, we didn't talk about the, the this is a, another jack-o'-lantern bed um, that girls really want to make sure they have carving pumpkins. So, that's why we planted that one. Um, I don't know if you can see in the light that we have these solar um, lights on each of the trellises, the arch trellises, I should say. So. But yeah, so this is that's what we've accomplished this weekend. Um, hope you enjoyed your walk through. Um, I will take you through the fruit patch and that once we get work done over there. Um, that'll be another video coming out later this week. I don't, I'm not sure which day of the week they're going to post on from now on. Um, it took me a little while to get the first one up because um, I was having some download issues with my internet and I ended up having to um, boost that up a little bit so but so hopefully that took care of the problem um, and this one won't take me a week to get it uploaded <laughs> hope you have a great day and enjoy your time at home while you can before all the craziness of everybody going back out and to the world starts have a great day thank you